Okay, it's Mark Weens here. Today we are gonna make the Thai street food recipe for gayang, which is grilled chicken. So I got two big fat birds. Let's marinate these bad boys and let's throw them on the grill and let's chow down. Okay, so this is a Thai dish that you want to kind of plan ahead because we're going to have to marinate them overnight and then we'll grill them the next day. You're going to need chicken. Uh, we're doing two birds today. For the marinade, we've got uh, soy sauce, normal, normal light soy sauce, fish sauce. This is palm sugar, um, black peppercorns, a ton of garlic, and the last ingredient is cilantro roots, coriander roots. This is not a must, uh, but it is included in normal, in authentic Thai gayang. But if you can't find this, you might just use a little bit of uh, like coriander powder. First step is to slice off the cilantro roots, uh, and then you can peel your garlic, and I'm talking a ton of garlic here. I think I used four whole bulbs, which was like 30 or 40 cloves. I forgot to mention, we're also gonna throw a little bit of lemongrass in our marinade to give it some good fragrance. Then finally slice the lemongrass. We're gonna start pounding up our ingredients, the black pepper, the garlic, the coriander roots, and the lemongrass. Just kind of throw in a bit of each of the ingredients, smash them up, uh, and then add them to a bigger bowl and keep going until you're finished with, with all, the, all the ingredients you're using. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can throw all the ingredients into a food processor or a blender, uh, but a stone mortar and pestle works the best. You want to pound all the ingredients, kind of keep it in equal proportions, uh, but overall it doesn't really matter as you can mix it all together in a bowl. Uh, but pound until you've got a nice coarse buttery paste. Uh, and you may need to do a couple batches, scoop it out and start again. If you are in a hot and humid climate, such as Bangkok, you should be dripping with sweat. Have some extremely fragrant aromas coming out of here, but you can see this is just straight up all of those ingredients ground up. Then you wanna add about two tablespoons of the buttery kind of palm sugar into the, into the mixture. Uh, four tablespoons of soy sauce, just one tablespoon of fish sauce, and one tablespoon of dark soy sauce for, for color. Then you really wanna start mixing and mashing up that marinade, uh, making sure the palm sugar really gets mixed in well. It should be kind of buttery, kind of sticky, uh, and if it's too thick, you can throw in some water. I added about half a cup of water to, to tone it down. We're gonna chop up the chickens and we're gonna sort of butterfly them. So this is how you do it. Using a sharp knife uh, on the breast side of the chicken, you wanna just slice down the middle until you reach the bone. Uh, you can chop off the neck too. I think we'll cook that separately so it doesn't get in the way. Like try to flatten it out. Break the backbone. This is how you're gonna cut the chicken, butterfly cut it. See, it looks all flat and it's gonna grill perfectly. It's like a, oh, it kinda looks like a sumo wrestler. Put your chicken into an open-faced metal or plastic container and you can begin to scoop in that chunky, awesome marinade. Uh, make sure you massage the chicken and get all those flavors deep into the chicken. Then you wanna turn it over, do the same thing, anoint it with that beautiful marinade. Don't forget to rub all that goodness under the wings and in all those little places. Uh, then you want to do the exact same thing for the other chicken uh, and then you can just stack them together. Okay, so that's it for the marinade. I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight, possibly stir it a couple of times and then we're going to grill it up tomorrow. The next day, the first thing you want to do is get your charcoal going. The chicken is going to smell amazing with all that garlic and black pepper and coriander. So we're going to get these chickens assembled using some bamboo skewers, which is the popular thing to do in Thailand. Each chicken needs four bamboo sticks. You wanna put one on either side of the chicken, running from the neck down the length of the drumstick. Then start with the neck side and twist a piece of metal wire to tighten the two bamboo sticks together. Then move to the other side, uh, squeeze the sticks together and it should feel like the chicken is really like secure and tight in the sticks. And then again, fasten it with another piece of metal wire. Uh, do this to both sides of the chicken and you're good to go. Now you want to grill the chicken on a very low heat uh, and you want to spread out that charcoal. I like to add some, uh, some old leftover charcoal ash to kind of tone down the fire. When the fire's ready, you can go ahead and lay the chickens flat on the grill uh, and you want to scoop on some of that extra juices and marinade uh, as it begins to slow cook. 
So we're gonna move over here and get started on our chili dipping sauce, which is known as Jim Chow. Add one and a half tablespoons of dry chili flakes, also one and a half tablespoons of kao kua, which is the ground toasted sticky rice, about one tablespoon of sugar, three tablespoons of fish sauce, and about eight tablespoons of tamarind juice, uh, which you can get by adding hot water to a block of tamarind, dry tamarind fruit. Uh, stir it all up, then finally slice some cilantro and toss it into the sauce. Mmm, that's sweet and sour and spicy. Well, that is gonna go awesome with these guys. Make sure you monitor the chicken pretty well depending on how hot your fire is. Oh, yeah. uh, but it should be about 15 to 20 minutes later you wanna flip the chicken over for the first time. The chicken is coming along nicely but I'm gonna go back after flipping them and add some more of that lovely marinade. And just baste these guys and... Oh, yeah. In order to cook the fat, the fat like breasts of the chicken, you can kind of set them up like a TP, um, a little lean to so that you get some good heat onto the, the edges of the chicken. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half, and these guys are, I think this one is done. The other one needs a little more time. Make sure you untie that wire and then slide out the bamboo sticks before chopping up the chicken. A big Chinese cleaver really helps do the job, but you could also do it with any kind of knife. First, slice down the center backbone of the chicken. Uh, then holding the drumstick, you can sort of chop it into nice handhold chunks. And at this point, you're gonna be salivating. I can't resist my temptation. This is just irresistible. I'm gonna go straight in with the, the drumstick. Oh, that's so juicy. That's just layered with flavor. That marinade has literally penetrated the entire chicken. I just got so many flavors in that bite that I'm almost too excited to even explain what I just tasted. Mm. Mm. Okay, so buy some chicken, get your grill lit, do some Thai style gai yang, Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button.